Hey everyone, Axel with you once again on Genesis 2. This time we're going to take a journey with testing the net projectile on every single tameable creature in Ark except for the aquatic creatures as for whatever reason you can't use a harpoon launcher with the net projectile attached while underwater. But that's okay because we still have over 120 creatures to test all in alphabetical order which includes some special ones at the end so stay tuned for those. Thank you everyone for the immense support, I couldn't do this without you and some of the feedback I get truly makes this worthwhile. Now I've rambled on enough, so let's get started with the test. Oh, and before I forget, uh, because this video you know, has over 130 creatures that we're going to be testing, uh, I can imagine there's going to be a lot that you're not really interested in. So, I'm going to put in a few points every here and there in regards to the net projectile and the harpoon launcher. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learn a bit more and <laughs> don't get quite so bored. Cheers again. First, the net projectile's engram is unlocked at level 43 for 12 engram points, which coincides with the harpoon launcher, the only weapon that can fire the net projectile. Second, the materials needed to make a singular projectile is 180 fiber, 12 metal or scrap metal ingots, and 4 polymer. By the time you're required to, um, you're the required level to actually craft the projectile, you shouldn't have a lot of trouble getting those resources.
Third, the net projectile loses trajectory height very slowly as it travels, unlike the bowler which quickly loses altitude. The effective range for the projectile according to my tests is over 45 foundation lengths, even approaching 50 foundations if you can aim it appropriately. I'll leave a small clip to show this at the very end of the video. Fourth, the net projectile is effective against all creatures with a drag weight of less than 500, which is a vast majority of Arx creatures bar the largest ones. It's easy to tell if a creature is netted by observing the net clinging all over the target's body. Fifth, the net projectile, once latched to its target, will hold them in place for 60 seconds unless someone hits the netted target three times with a hatchet, pike, sword or tech sword, which will sever the netting and allow the target to go free.
Sixth, when Genesis 2 was first released, it was also possible to get a weapon called a net gun from the red loot crates in the hexagon shop. However, it was removed fairly swiftly when Wildcard saw how game breaking it was, as it was capable of netting and disabling the Aspracetus. Seventh, the Harpoon Launcher is capable of coming in higher damage percentages, which is found in the Hexagon Loot Crates. However, this doesn't affect the amount of time the target stays netted for, or the size of the targets affected by the net projectiles. Alright, so with this last test done here, we'll now move on to the bonus creatures. First off, we have the summoner, which unfortunately, that was a colossal fail, so summoner does not work. The alpha basilisk, uh, just like its non-alpha counterpart, it also does not work. Oh well, to be expected. The alpha reaper king, just like the regular reaper king, again, does not work. The Alpha Fire Wyvern, just like the regular Wyvern, yep, you guessed it, doesn't work. The Alpha Deathworm, because I was already on Scorched Earth. <laughs> oh, imagine if that worked. The Alpha Rex, same as its non-Alpha counterpart, is ineffective. The Alpha Raptor, however, if it's the same as its non-Alpha counterpart. Oh yeah, that's right. So it is compatible. The Alpha Kano. Yep, follows suit. It is indeed immobilized by the net projectile. The Alpha Carcanos. Just like its non-alpha counterpart. Beautiful. The Alpha Blood Crystal Wyvern. Okay, so it's not in its uh, knocked out state. But that's fine. The Exo Mech. The tiny little mech dude. I don't really know a lot about it, but it also does not work, so I know that much. Now the net projectile range test. Kano, at the end on top of a foundation, hitched up to a hitching post so it can't move. Ten foundations. Twenty foundations. Thirty foundations. Forty. And fifty. So here I show that it is still effective at roughly 50 foundations of length. Keep a close eye on the um, crosshair and you'll see the yellow hit marker. I move out of the 50 meter range and put down the sign to show 60 foundation lengths away from the Kano. Which, looking back, I forgot to edit that part out. Oh, it doesn't matter. Didn't take very long. So we'll see here that unfortunately after 50 foundations of length, it's quite ineffective so it doesn't matter what you really do. But that will conclude our video. I appreciate you guys having watched this all the way through. I can imagine that it would have been quite the drag. But nonetheless, cheers again and hope to see you next time.